ผมเรามีอินอินโทรดิวไอไอบูไลท์ทูอินโทรดิวเออมิสนภารัตพีรวัฒนกุลเยสชีสเซนิออฟฟิเซอร์ฟอร์มเอยูเอ็นอาเซียนยูนิเวอร์ซิตี้เน็ตเวิร์กชีวิวชีกัตเอเอ็ดมาสเตอร์ออฟอาร์ตอินอินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลเวเลชั่นฟอร์มจุฬาลงกรณ์ยูนิเวอร์ซิตี้ She work in uh, AUN uh, very long time and have very expert and in, in the international relation among ASEAN University. So now she uh, kindly to present the uh, credit transfer and credit bank system, uh, the framework of AUN. So please uh, join me to give her a big applause. Uh, firstly, I would like to express my uh, thank you to the Thai Cyber University for kindly invite uh, me on behalf of the ASEAN University Network to present and share experiences on the credit transfer and student mobility at this, um, the exclusive meeting uh, for the KMOOC, JMOOC, and Thai MOOC. And perhaps just let's see that uh, what we can do or collaborate together um, for the credit transfer and other Things for the mobility, perhaps like across the region. Today, I would like to provide you brief information on the ASEAN Credit Transfer System, or uh, abbreviation ACTS. Uh, let me provide you a bit uh, background of the ASEAN University Network, or AUN. The AUN has founded in 1995 with the mandate of the ASEAN leader to hasten the um, solidarity and collaboration of the higher education and to promote um, human resource development in the region. So in 1995, the charter of AUN had been signed by the minis uh, ministers responsible for higher education in, at that time, 1995, um, there were only six countries uh, in ASEAN. And then in 1997, um, the ASEAN had combined it all together, 10 countries into the region. So in 1995, at the very first state of um, the AUN, we had at that time only 11 member universities. And then we kept expanding the core member and up to now, um, 2017, we have all together 30 member universities from 10 ASEAN countries, three from uh, Myanmar, five from Thailand, five um, from Malaysia, four from Indonesia, uh, only one national university from Laos, three from Vietnam, three from the Philippines, two from Cambodia, or one national university from Brunei, and three universities um, in Singapore. Actually, uh, the number of uh, core member, 30 universities in ASEAN country, uh, in um, the whole ASEAN region, it seemed quite uh, very few and, and quite limited. But actually, um, it's our strategy not to expand the member universities too fast, we should keep it uh, the number uh, up to 30 university at this stage. But we um, used the network of the core member as a test run, as a ground base, to collaborate on all the activities and projects. And then after um, having the success, uh, we will um, expand and share the experiences and those success story to other universities in the region. So uh, for the member universities, uh, apart from the core member, we also expand the membership to the affiliate member of the quality assurance. Uh, we call it the AUN quality assurance or AUN QA, which so far we have all together over 80 universities for the um, quality assurance. And um, as well as the other 14 thematic networks, um, 
all of them are the network uh, focused on the specific area of collaboration and quality assurance and also the ACTS are uh, also the um, sub-network among the 14 networks of the AUN. For the credit transfer system, uh, it's developed by the ASEAN University Network uh, firstly in 2008 with the main objective to facilitate and to enhance the student mobility and um, as well as the um, higher, uh, harmonization of higher education in the region. And currently, the Secretariat of the Network is hosted by Universitas Indonesia. So the Universitas Indonesia hosts all the system um, in their uh, website. So uh, you can visit the website to um, have more information on the credit transfer and all the available courses and information of the participating uh, participating universities, uh, acts.ue.ac.id. And here are some milestones of the ACTS. From 2008, um, the idea of having the credit transfer um, within the ASEAN region, firstly initiated at the quality assurance meeting, and then in 2009, uh, the board of trustees of AUN had adopted the establishment of the ACTS and appointed Universitas Indonesia as the host uh, of the secretariat. Then in 2010, we firstly introduced the ACTS online application system. A, um, a year later, 2011, Member universities just um, gathered again at the board meeting to talk about um, the mechanism and sustainability of the uh, system that how can we promote uh, student mobility. So member university admit, um, committed to grant five full scholarships for their students to go um, to other member universities for a short course or a semester studies um, and also applying for the credit transfer system and then in the same year at the by the end of 2011 the ACTS has fully implemented so a year later in 2012 there was the first evaluation of the implementation of the um, uh, of the system as um, for only for the for one year um, there was so much thing that we need to improve in 2013 up to um, 2014, that was the first time that we expand the system to incorporate our dialogue partner. Firstly, um, the first uh, partner university from Okayama University from Japan. Uh, and currently under the Reinventing Japan project, we have all together three uh, universities from Ogayama, Shiba, and Kyoto universities that share the courses, um, the online courses through the ACTS. And in 20, uh, 2015, that was the first time that the ASEAN Foundation, um, look, uh, ASEAN Foundation is the international organization located in Jakarta, Indonesia. They adopted the ACTS for the student mobility program hosted by um, the ASEAN Foundation that they granted the scholarship to, for the ASEAN students to study as the short uh, term in a study visit to Kyoto University with the applicable of um, ACTS for the credit transfer. Under the ACTS, there are three main components. The first one is the grading scale. In order to facilitate the difference uh, of grading scale of the different universities in, in 10 ASEAN countries. So through this system, the, credit, uh, the grade will be automatically um, uh, like um, accumulated and perhaps actually it's um, on voluntary basis of the home university to um, 
accept and accumulate the credit uh, that students gain from the host universities. And one of the most um, effective and very active one is the second component, which is the online lists of available courses uh, offered by the both AUM member universities and Japanese universities. And the last component is online application system, which all the students have to apply online before um, receive approval from both home and host universities before they're mobilized to study in um, another universities. And here's the figures. The latest uh, update in June last year. Currently, there are over 21,000 courses available online for the students, uh, both graduates and, under, and undergraduates, but mostly for undergraduates. And the student was applying to study at the host universities for over 4,900 students. And currently, there are over 20, um, let's say, uh, 26 or 27 universities participated in the credit transfer system and also funded uh, full scholarships for students to study um, in other countries in ASEAN and in Japan as well. And for the students who applied um, to the host university altogether are 2,555, a good number. And for the host university who accepted the students to study in their universities altogether, the um, number in total is 914. And here is the latest figure. From 2011, which was the first year of the uh, ACTS implementation, the application to host university is only 208, but in 2016, the number is uh, has increased to 573. The nomination by home university also increased from 120 in 2011 to um, 364 in 2016, as well as the accept uh, the number of acceptance by the host university also increased a lot, um, over over 200 percent from 55 to 195. And uh, we're now accumulating um, the latest number of the 2017. The secretary will hand us um, the latest number, I think or soon, perhaps like by today, but um, I'm sorry for the imperfection number that we cannot present for the 2017 at, at this, but uh, we're so sure that the number of uh, last year would be um, bigger than the, um, the year 2016, and altogether that made um, uh, the total number of students mobilized across the region over 1,000 so far. Here are the key features of the credit transfer system. It is applicable for both undergraduate and graduate students, and there's no required uh, for a um, modification of existing institutional or national credit systems. And for the duration of studies, the students can choose to study for one up to two academic semesters, as well as the short period uh, of study, such as uh, summer, uh, summer course or internship. However, um, after six years of uh, the credit transfer implementation, we had um, evaluated um, the, the system implementation as uh, for the ACTS, however, the mobilize of the students over the region um, is fully offline because the students have to, have to go across um, the region to other countries for the, uh, for the short course, for the semester, academic semester. But all the credit must be accumulated and transferred through online integration. So um, um, accordingly, um, the efficiency of the system, the security issue, and the fully engaged 
engagement of the participating universities are the main factors to guarantee the success of the system. So here are um, the main factors um, that we perhaps that we 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 think is the um, challenges for the um, student mobility. We call it the turtle model. Um, perhaps because the nature of the total is low, but one of the positive side that it has a lifelong span. So maybe it's low, but it can stay last. So it means we have ample time and rooms for improvement. Um, here are the, um, the breakdown of the seven factors that we think that they are the challenges for the student mobility within the region. The first one is information. Um, we, have, we still have a um, kind of limited sharing of information between, uh, like among the participating universities. So students sometimes um, don't have the updated information just on time by the time of the app um, the time of application so this one is um, the first factor that they mentioned um, mentioned as the challenge and the thing that we should improve quite urgently uh, which is to update all the information of available at host and home universities the second one is the quality it is undeniable that um, all the universities in ASEAN uh, there is some, um, perhaps because of the, the development gap um, among the countries, perhaps from the, between the other six and the rest of the newly developing economy. So um, from the perception of the university themselves, of the administrative staff and of the students, they have concern of the quality uh, whether the courses or whether the university they apply for have uh, the similar or the same part of the qualification or quality um, as their home university or not. So this is one of the factor that the students and and the member universities just uh, have concern when they just send or support the students to go out to um, the host universities. Also the systems. This one is kind of a macro um, factor. According to the difference of academic calendar, the credit recognition, and administrative procedure, all other systems that um, it's not that easy to, to deal with it because perhaps it's not only the, um, the things that only the university can deal with. Perhaps it requires for uh, collaboration from the, um, the different um, sexual bodies and uh, perhaps the Ministry of Education, uh, especially for the academic calendar. Uh, the fourth one is the attitude. Um, due to the survey of the students in ASEAN countries, many of them have a look west attitude. So when we talk about the student mobility, and ask them that which country they would like to go for degree program or even the short degree program uh, or not a non-degree program. Um, top three, not in ASEAN. They prefer to go to the States, to Europe, to UK, but not in ASEAN. But if we ask that within ASEAN countries or perhaps among the ASEAN plus three, that which country they would like to go first of course, Japan, Korea, or China. But uh, um, countries in ASEAN are still the second tier for them to choose. So the attitude is the one that um, the deep down to the, the student characteristic that we have to uh, take times as well to change. The fifth factor is about the financial factors. This one is uh, one of the main factor to guarantee the success and increase number of student mobility because without financial support, perhaps students cannot mobilize. Um, at AUN, 
even though the member universities committed to grant five full scholarships to their students to go abroad for the um, uh, uh, semester or, or the short course program, but not all the universities are financially capable to do so. So for some countries or some universities, um, they're not uh, available to, to grant the scholarship uh, for their students to go out. So perhaps um, they still need for the, um, uh, the funding support from um, the funding agencies or, or perhaps for the policy support from the government to increase the mobility. Uh, the sixth one is the competence. Uh, of course, the language barriers, um, because um, the, though that you, meant, uh, you may recognize, recognize that there are over 20,000 courses of, are, are available online, but not all of them um, being offered in English. Some they taught in local languages, but actually um, the courses that are being taught in, in local language have a pro and con. Um, it's not in English, so it's quite difficult for the students to take class. But for some students who would like to really learn the, um, uh, the local atmosphere, and perhaps it's another strength, so they prefer to go and attend the, um, the uh, language of the neighbor countries. And uh, the last one is the external factors about the visa issue, the work permits, the administrative procedures as well. Um, the visa issue, uh, vis visa entrance, um, actually, this this matter that we have talked um, so many times at the ministerial level, at the ASEAN and ASEAN Plus Three um, Education Minister meeting, we have raised this issue that perhaps is it possible for the ministry to consider granting long-term uh, visa uh, grants for the students um, to cover the period of their studies in, in their home country, in the host countries. But actually, it's quite difficult because for the visa issues, it's not only the, the matter of the Ministry of Education, but the, it's a matter of security as well. So they have to consult with the Ministry of Interior and the Immigration Office. Um, so far, we cannot do anything much about, about the visa things, but I think the relevant um, agencies still keep talking and, and to figure this out later. Um, maybe let me, uh, be, before I just end the slide, I would like to show you this um, example of the transcript um, of the ASEAN Credit Transfer System. Uh, maybe Ajahn could please help click on the, the transcript, please. Here is the, an example of the ACDS transcript of academic record that we really um, implemented. Um, and this is the actual one, the actual transcript one. It contains um, all the information that agreed upon by both hosts and home universities. And every, everything will be accumulated, uh, recorded, and transferred through online system. Uh, the first one is um, the academic year that the student applied. The period of studies either is the one or the uh, two semester of the short course. And the degree program is for undergraduate or graduate degree. And the, na the title of the program. Also, the information of the students the name of the host and the home universities, and the course title that the student applied for, uh, the title of the program, and the duration of course, uh, as well as the grade that the host university uh, granted for the students, also the credit, and the total credit that the stu uh, student received at the end of the program. And all of this, um, information will be transferred to online to home universities. So it's, it's an agreement between hosts and home universities. So here's the 
um, just the brief information about the asynchronous transfer system, just for your information. But if you would like to, to perhaps like um, look into any details of of any of the system, you can. Uh, you're more than welcome to visit the uh, website of the Universitas Indonesia for more information. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Nyapalat, for your very uh, comprehensive and, and interesting uh, presentation. So if anyone have a question or uh, comment, could please. I would like to ask the first question. Uh, can you in accredit uh, the university or accredit the program, program of study? Actually, this, um, uh, for the, this ACTS, it's firstly um, implemented just among the member universities. So all the 30 member universities are accredited um, actually, um, through the process, um, it was agreeable at the AUM Board of Trustee meeting that um, the ACTS will be um, implemented among the member universities. Yes. Uh, for, for, for clarification, for example, in Jurarongkorn University, Jurarongkorn is one of the member of AUN, right? So, but Jurongkorn have more than a thousand program from from 19 faculty. So all the program uh, is accredited because of the Jurongkorn University was accredited, right? Um, for the accreditation, it's uh, we respect the other authority of the universities, but we do not think that um, all each university will will like um, um, have in the record of the online courses. Um, oh no, sorry. On um, in the system, um, all the courses that are available because um, to update um, the information of the courses um, into the system, um, we need the collaboration of of the. Um, Register Office and the International Relation Office that they have to coordinate with uh, relevant faculties. Um, but not all the courses that are open for international students. Some courses are open only for the local students, so that kind of courses do not record in the system. Another question, do you allow the, for example, one university open the courses that allow for foreign students to learn and they open in, in, in the online mode? Is it possible to, to fit in the, this framework? Um, currently, the, um, uh, for the universities to, to recognize the credit transferred, um, all the courses must be offline. Uh, we do not we do not um, apply yet the credit transfer to the online courses, but perhaps in the future maybe. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I have a question. Uh, uh, when you mentioned the visa insurance problem, so and uh, can you explain the more about that and then uh, what? Uh, and you, what uh, do you have the, the solution about that? Uh, uh, for the uh, for the visa issue, uh, because some um, countries they have um, actually among the ASEAN member states, they have a kind of um, regulation to um, allow the students of like um, any person who hold the student visa to stay in the countries for some certain period. For some countries, maybe um, two months. Some countries, maybe three months. But if the students would like to apply for perhaps a, a true semester program, which means it uh, over three months, 
they have to reapply for the visa. Um, and for them, they think that um, in this kind of uh, visa application at the um, immigration office at the host countries is not convenient for them. They would like to have uh, a kind of um, any regulations that help them to stay in that host countries cover the whole duration of their studies, even it's over three months as the the longest length of their stay. If they would like to attend a six months for the two semester, um, so then no need to reapply for the student visa, but it's not possible. Uh, so the host university has to help them apply for the um, or to extend the visa um, to cover the period of their stay. Okay. Yes. So, thank you very much, Ms. Naparat. <coughs> so, we, we learn a lot from uh, two systems, for Korea, Korea system, Nai, and from AUN system. Maybe very good. Uh, information for, for our learning and thinking from now. Okay. <coughs> so uh, we still have some time left before we have lunch. Uh, do, they, do, do you have anything to, to comment or to share about this session? <coughs> If the, uh, everything okay, <laughs> if everything okay, so I think we can close this morning session here, and then in the afternoon session we will come back from our group, our small group in this room, and then uh, every group will share the result of discussion to other group, and then we will summarize our today meeting in this room. So. Okay, I think it's now we ready for lunch. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much all for attending the, this session. Thank you very much. <coughs> Please wait for the coupon.